Give me like five seconds, y'all. Five, just five, four, three, two, edge one. All right. What's up, everybody? So, I know this is a little different. It's out of the norm from our regular schedule, regular schedule programming. You know, I post on Thursday, now we're doing Throwback Thursday, and then we got a game on Thursday, game on Friday, game on Saturday, game on Sunday. And you guys know the routine, right? But I was scrolling on Twitter, and if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Coach Phil Reacts. Um, there's some, I, I've dealt, I've seen and dealt with a lot of ignorant people in my life, but no one in football has made me feel more frustrated as a coach than Chris Jones of the Edmonton Elks. The absolute incompetence and stupidity and walking mass of contradiction of Chris Jones is astounding. I've never seen anything like this before. Not NFL, XFL, USFL. I've never seen anything this terrible. And the management of a young talent is is frustrating. You guys know the Trey, Trey Ford, Chris Jones, Taylor Cornelius, weird triangle situation. And I see a three down nation, shout out to them. I love what they publish and put out there. Um, an article. And I'm gonna just take a little couple pieces from it. I've read the entire thing, but I feel like we should kind of break down some of the ignorant, stupid things that Chris Jones has said. And I'm gonna give my opinion on it. So we gotta kind of switch things up a little bit because these lights is whooping my ass and I need to change it. So let's change it. Much better. All right, so this is the article. It is Elks Chris Jones challenges Canadian QB Trey Ford to play better and opportunity will show up. How can someone gain opportunity if anytime you give him a chance, not even in, tra in Trey Ford's situation, he didn't even get a chance, he hasn't had a chance since last season to prove that he can be the guy. All right, let's look at it. This is from D Justin Dunk. Canadian quarterback Trey Ford has not seen the field so far in 2023. Edmonton Elks general manager and head coach Chris Jones explained his reasoning for that decision. All right, this, this is our, I already know there's going to be some, some fuckery right here, so let's just be prepared for the fuckery. He's a good player, and I'm not trying to be a smartass, but that's the facts. I'm not going to hide from it. He didn't come back to camp, and he didn't perform as good as he did a year ago. Compared to the other shit that you've got going on, Chris, with the other quarterbacks, I think Trey Ford might be the, the best decision to go with at this point. I, 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 I when I first read this, I got mad because dude showed what he could do last season. I w obviously, we don't really have film from camp to be able to justify, but I know there couldn't have been that drastic of a drop-off for Trey Ford. That Taylor Cornelius gets all these chances to show, hey, I'm the guy. No, you're not the guy. All right, so let's continue. A year ago, he was behind Nick Arbuckle, just barely, and we gave the start to the more experienced guy. And then from there, he got nicked up and it was late until he came back. This year, he's not shown that. He's shown it in spurts, but you've got to do more than what he did during camp in order to get the opportunities. Okay. Sometimes, as a head coach, just even as a coach in general, you have to know when to go with the next guy. And if the next guy don't work, then go to the last resort. I think the last resort is way better than what you've got going right now, Chris, Chris Jones. But let's continue. Jones selected Ford in the first round, eighth overall during the 2022 CFL draft. He made his first career start in week four last season, completing 15 of 26 passes for 159 yards with one touchdown and one interception while running six times for 61 yards in a victory. A victory! Let me read that again. He made his first career start in week four last season, completing 15 of 26 passes for 159 yards with one touchdown and one interception 
while running six times for 61 yards in a victory over the Hamilton Tiger Cats. So you're telling me that the guy that pretty much probably got you your last win as the head coach of the Edmonton Elks does not get the same opportunity as the guy who you benched and got the backup in and you saw that the backup isn't as good so you give the starting job back to the guy that ends up throwing a left-handed interception. Make it make sense, Chris Jones. So we're gonna skip this part right here because it's pretty much saying the, the exact same thing. Taylor Cornelius claimed the starting job in Ford's absence and received a two-year contract extension. Why, I don't know. Through 2024, with the Elks struggling to begin the 2023 season, rookie American Jarrett Dogie, if I'm pronouncing his last name wrong, my bad, overtook Ford on the depth chart and quickly replaced Cornelius in his first appearance while being given a start in week four as the national QB watch from the sidelines. Now this is the, this, this right here is the fuckery right here. What I'm about to read is probably gonna piss me off, but I don't really care. He has to play better. This year, he has not played as good as what he did last year. He's done okay. He's a little bit inconsistent. He can, he can make every throw. His is more on concentration, I think. So define inconsistency for me because the shit that you've had over the first six weeks of the season, that's not even inconsistent. That's just poor ass QB play. So I'd rather take a guy that's going 15 for 26. You understand me? A touchdown and interception and a dub than a dude who obviously is not capable of making the right reads, the right plays and being consistent in Taylor Cornelius. So, what's the problem, Chris Jones? What are you afraid of? What is the, what? You, we're not even just talking about camp no more. We're talking about the facts. You can say all this stuff about O and camp and O and OTAs, O and EDDs and all that stuff, but the bread and butter is right there. The meat and potatoes are in there. And I love meat and potatoes and I love when the bread is buttered. You feel me? There's no reason why Trey Ford shouldn't be starting at quarterback or even how you gonna give somebody an opportunity if you just don't even give them the chance. It's like, that's like me or you watching at home right now. We try to go apply for a job and we don't really have, we, we trying to get experience on the job, but yet they tell you, well, you don't have enough experience. Well, how can I gain experience if you won't give me a chance? Throw me in the fire and give me a chance. You feel what I'm saying? Like this, this doesn't make any kind of sense whatsoever. All right, so here's the deal. This, this is my closing argument of why I think this has got to be one of the most contradictory, ignorant things I've heard from a CFL head coach. Chris Jones is double talking. You can't expect somebody to gain experience and opportunity without there being a, a, you giving them the chance. And I know he's wearing two hats, general manager and head coach. And that's the worst thing you could do for a guy like him because he carries himself like a general manager, but he talks like a coach and you can't do both. It's not a good, it's, it's not a good deal. You feel me? And I think when he makes comments like, oh, he isn't playing like he did in camp. Well, camp is camp. There's a lot of guys that come into camp and play like trash. But when your last win is pretty much because of him, why would you not want to give him an opportunity and chance? What was the point of drafting Trey Ford if you're just going to have him sit and you're going to keep giving other people chances above him? You got to, it's, he's shown 15 for 26, a, a touchdown, an interception. While you got Taylor Cornelius throwing left-handed interceptions and Doogie almost getting knocked out half the daggum game. But I'm starting to realize with Chris Jones, everything is contrite. Everything is, it's, it's his way or the highway and he's stubborn. And I get, I try to see things from a business side and also see it from the product side, which is the on-field product, okay? And it's hard. It's hard to differentiate between both of them. Without the business, there's no product. Without the product, there's no business. At the end of the day, you don't need your head coach being your general manager, Edmonton Elks. What you need to do is take the loss that you have with Chris Jones, 
and get rid of him immediately. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This man is driving your organization to the ground with his lack of development. Because he doesn't want, he doesn't want to, it seems like he doesn't want to develop Trey Ford. He expects Trey Ford to develop himself and and delegate the responsibility to the quarterback coach or delegate it to the offensive coordinator. But you're the head coach. You and him should be yin and yang on the same page. The next closest person should be him and the OC on the same page to, de to enhance his development. But all you're doing is pretty much shitting on him. Every time I hear something about Chris Ford talking about Trey, uh, Chris Jones talking about Trey Ford, it's never anything good. Ever. So, but yet Taylor Cornelius gets an extension through 2024. And I get you gotta play, you gotta play the guy that you, you gotta pay, play the guy that you're paying big money to. And people think you have to do that. No, you don't. Take your loss. You invested, you gotta spend money to make money. Take your loss, put Trey Ford in, let Cornelius sit there and back up. Oh God, oh God, he's... Yeah, that's what I think. But what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber, you feel me? So we're gonna get up out of here, y'all. I just wanted to make this quick video because I was, this, this article just, it rubbed me the wrong way, you know? And Trey Ford just deserves much more and deserves to be in a situation that benefits him and he can lead a team. Cause now we're starting to see uh, the, 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 the shift in the CFL where the young guys are starting to make a difference. And I, I, I just, I wanna see Trey Ford win. I do, I, I really wanna see Trey win. But with Chris Jones running the helm, it's, we ain't gonna get nowhere with this. So we gonna get a battery y'all. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. I know this is kind of out of the ordinary, but something like this had to be spoke, spoken on. So yeah, uh, hashtag fire Chris Jones and uh, hashtag free Trey Ford. We out of here, y'all.